This video is on service related entry point. There are two terms you need to know for the Network Plus exam for service related entry point. The demarcation point and smart jack. Demarcation point is where the ownership of service is transferred from the local access provider to you. The point is located within the minimum point of entry. Simply put, it's the dividing line where your service provider's equipment connects with your own. Other names for this are DMARC, Boundary Point, or Network Boundary Point. This spot is what determines who is responsible for the installation and maintenance of cabling and hardware. Equipment located before DMARC is the service provider's responsibility. For any equipment located past DMARC, installations and repairs become your responsibility. The demarcation point can vary depending on the country you're in and has changed over time. But this is usually a gray box mounted on outside of the building or possibly within a basement at a main distribution frame. If you experience a fault in your network, you must know what the demarcation point is so you know if it's yours or provider's responsibility in order to organize repairs. There are multiple products to provide functionalities at the demarc point like fault propagation to detect link failures. Demarcation point for T1 is typically smart jack or NIU. For Ethernet, it's fiber or copper cable, handoff in patch panel, or network interface device or NID. So smart jack or intelligent network interface device, INID, is similar to NID, network interface device, but with newer technology and additional features. SmartJack contains more sophisticated equipment such as circuit boards to allow for additional functionality. SmartJacks are commonly used to provide triple play, telephone, TV, and internet services. Some SmartJacks will provide these services to a single building while others will extend to multiple outlets. While similar in functionality, the more advanced technology of SmartJacks provide a number of advantages over NIDs. Some smart jacks may act like a repeater to increase the strength of your signal and overcome signal degradation for long cable lines. The greatest advantage that smart jacks have is the elimination of running DSL directly into your building. DSL connected to pre-existing wiring often suffer from signal loss issues not present in smart jacks. Along with hooking up your equipment, Smart jacks can be used to test your equipment if you begin having fuzzy phone lines, drop internet, or other problems. This is done using a local loop, also called a loopback, which allows your telecom company to remotely test equipment without needing to send a technician out to you. Most smart jacks are equipped with some of the variety of alarm indication signal, AIS, which alerts the telecom company if something goes wrong with your lines.